Hi guys, MapMap here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is MapMap and I do anything and everything DIY. So if that's your thing, do not forget to smash the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you will be the first to know the moment I upload a new video. And today's video is a DIY Moana costume. And of course, I will do my best to make it as quick and easy as possible. And if you'd like to see how that goes, then keep on watching. First step is to prepare your materials. We'll be needing a red long sleeve shirt, preferably with no cuffs, but you, if you'll be getting something with cuffs in it, just be sure to cut that off later on. Next would be kacha cloth or canvas. If you can get the thick one instead of the thinner version of it, do get that. Yellow and white fabric paint. Ruler and pen. Lay down your shirt on a flat surface and get your ruler and your pen so we can mark it off. Or if your pen is not working just like this, what you can do is just fold it just like that and cut it across from armpit to armpit. And after that, you should have two pieces right here. One for your waist, the waist strap like a belt, and the other one for your tube top. Next is to get your canvas cloth, your fabric, and measure yourself. Create a wrap around skirt. Just be sure to put an allowance on it. Now that we have that, you're just going to have to cut it. Almost done with the cutting part. Last thing that we have to do is create waves at the bottom of her tube top. Just like that. This is going to be the bottom part and the top part. Fold it over. Now, on to the painting part. If you have a black fabric paint, that's great. If you don't, you can use a black acrylic paint and get your brushes. Make sure to have flat brushes so it's going to be easier for you. Now, if you don't have a ruler, just get your point finger, your pointer finger, and measure it up to here on both sides. And create a straight line. And another pointer finger. Right above that. Now that's done. You can start off at the bottom. Now for this part, so it'll be easier for you, create an allowance above and below. So, so we can just cut exactly what we need. This is just an old cardboard already used that I have right here. And we're gonna cut that and create a pattern. Now that you have that, this is around two pointer fingers length. Fold it in half. And we're gonna create the sun rays. And to do that, fold it lengthwise. And crosswise so that we can create a circle out of it. But don't cut that right here in the middle. Leave some space. Fold it over. Same thing on the other side. 
and then cut away the excess. To make sure that equal, fold it lengthwise and cut away any excess just like this if you have to. Then we'll create the sun rays. See? Now that we have that, you can just press it on like this and paint the negative space black. Yay, okay, now we're done with our first pattern. If you can press this in right here and do the same exact thing. This is your allowance for the connecting line between this sun and this sun, okay? Just repeat the process until you finish it from side to side. So that's done. So what I did was bring the fold up to this line because as for Moana's tube top it's not straight like this but instead it goes from here up to here there's a curve so what we're gonna do is mark that and cut it so that's that here's our fold and if you want to cut some more curves in it go ahead and do so And that's that. So it's this star looking thing with six rays and then five each for these lines with a little space in between and then another five and then another set of those lines and then back to the stars. Now we're just gonna be doing that from left to right and then that should be done. Now that we're done with that, onto the white face paint, I mean white fabric paint to apply the uh, white metal looking chain. Now, as you can see, I already started it off by creating like really small letter C's starting from the left to the right. And we'll just continue doing that from side to side. So now that the first chain is done, we're going to do another one right beside it and just leaving a little space. Now just continue doing that um, from left to right, of course, um, keeping the space between the chains as equal as possible. And yes, uh, some of the designs up here, you'd have to overlap lap that. That's why I did not do the triangles that I'm going to do later on after this. Now that's done, off to the triangles above here and then right below it. And just try to make it as even as possible. Now that the upper triangles are done, we're gonna do the bottom ones. Now I'm just gonna let this dry and then we're gonna move on to the skirt. Now onto the skirt, I have here our kacha cloth, our canvas cloth. Um, and with that, get the bottom, the one with the frayed edges on it and then fold it over to like this length and we're going to create a triangle out of it now fold that so that it's gonna be the same length and we're gonna create a triangle out of it so make sure that everything is really aligned to find the middle just fold it like that and 
go ahead and cut it out like that so that when you open it up it's gonna have this triangular pattern at the bottom of it now what I'm gonna do is start off on the right side because this right side is the one that's on literally my right hand overlapping on the left part that's gonna be under the skirt and right about this size too we are going to create a flower pattern now as for the flower pattern I just have here um, a photo paper in a palette and we're gonna trace that Buddha the left and right petals first because it has six sides one on the left, right, and then two up here, and then two below. Now there's a triangle per petal. And that's what we're gonna do. Oh, something like that. Get your X-Acto knife, scissors, cutter, whatever you have there. So what we're gonna do is cut out the yellow parts, like this one and the circle, okay? Because what you want to do is just lay it down right here. Lay it down on your fabric and then stamp in the yellow parts. Now leave a space between these and the circle that you're going to cut out. So let's like this. And then to create the holes per triangle, just fold it in half, it's more of um, diamonds, not triangles. And then on this part, right above it, there are more triangles, <laughs> wherein we are going to use our yellow fabric paint to draw that. And if some of your triangles are wonky, you can just cut some of it. And these are gonna be like triangles with broken lines, made out of broken lines. Now right above this, there are, um, there are zigzag lines. Two parallel zigzag lines. And then, just make sure that there's a space between this, the triangles, and the zigzag lines. And then now, off to our pattern. With this one, if you have a, a sponge that you can use to stamp on the colors, go ahead and do so. So I have here raw sienna acrylic paint from Berkeley. And let's try to use that as well as a dishwashing sponge and hope this works. So that's that. I hope it's all good. Yee now, that's good. I'm gonna use the uh, yellow fabric paint to create some texture on the flower because the flower on Moana's skirt was also uh, embroidered by really thick threads. Now, of course, we have to do all of these over again up to the other side. So that's that. Uh, I'm just gonna, gonna let it dry for a day or two. So here's a recap of what happened. Uh, I used brown or raw sienna acrylic paint for the, these big flowers and then for these broken lines, I'm supposed to use brown or anything light brown. Uh, however, we only have yellow here so and I wanted that texture. So what I'm going to do instead is that especially that now that it's all dried up, these broken lines um, are not that visible from afar. So what I'm going to do is finish it off, uh, do the same triangles right here just like what I did. And then these zigzag broken lines, uh, I'll be doing that as well in here because what I did of course was just folded it over to the front and then cut the same triangle pattern just like down here at the bottom. And then basically that's that. 
And then what I'm gonna do after that is get my raw sienna acrylic paint and paint over all of the broken lines so it's gonna be really visible. Now another option for you is that uh, of course, if you do not have a, a fabric paint, regardless if that's yellow or brown or what color or whatever color you'd like to use, you can just use um, an acrylic paint in a flat brush, just like this, and then do the patterns, do these triangle and zigzag broken lines. So there we go. Um, what I just did was dip the tip of my flat brush, and then it's way easier to just stamp in the acrylic paint directly to the fabric paint or directly to the fabric itself. Um, excuse the lighting because I have to make it really bright so you could see what I'm doing because this red is like red red and it's just blending out. Now what we're gonna do since my long sleeves the, or the long sleeve that I got uh, has cuffs on it, I'm just gonna be folding that, the bottom part, leaving, leaving like a, an inch or half an inch and then cut it out. Now, this part with the neckline, this will be the one that's inside or the back. And then this one is gonna be your front side, of course. For in, what we're gonna do is paint three parallel lines and then the star looking thing. Just like uh, the one at the uh, bottom of her tube top. We're gonna fold it like that later on once it's done. All right, so now that's done. We're just gonna let that dry. Now, as for the DIY straw skirt, I just measured um, from my waist up to right below my knees and um, did a one inch allowance for that. And then I'm just gonna cut this out. So it's gonna look like that. And then cut as many of these as you have to. Measure the circumference of your waist and leave an allowance like this long for the allowance because this is going to be serving as our belt or our waistband then just put that aside at least that's already safe and then of course just go back on measuring the strands for your skirt Alright, so since now that this is all complete, I'm just hoping that these straws uh, will be enough to cover the whole circumference of my waist. And if not, just get some more straws. Now, as for the waistband, here's the waistband, right? What you're just gonna have to do is get one of these. Make sure that it's equal at the bottom. Then we're just gonna do a really simple knot. Put this loop under, and then pull it out, just like that. We're in, of course, uh, it's gonna look like that. And if you wanna tie this waistband on your waist while doing this so it'll be easier, go ahead and do so.
And there you have it. We're all good. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate that. And if you did like the video, enjoyed it, or at least learned something from it, please do not forget to hit on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification bell so you will be the first to know the moment I upload a new video. And as always, if you have any comments, questions on what we did, or suggestions, please feel free to put them all down below or hit me up on Instagram at it's me, MapMap. You know, have a good one. I'll see you in our next video. Thank you so much again for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.